For this year's Swift Institute Student Challenge India, students were asked to provide a solution to the question, how can the Indian financial community increase the adoption and use of digital trade transactions to reduce or eliminate paper-based trade? Well, there were four teams competing this year and each had 10 minutes to present their solution. It was a suitably tough test and SWIFT CEO and Regional Head for India and South Asia, Kieran Shetty, joins us now to give us the lowdown. Hi Kieran, and thank you for joining us on Cyboss TV. Can you tell us more about the task you set the teams and why it was that one? Well, uh, we are a community-owned cooperative and we celebrate diversity and inclusion. Our students' challenge is actually aimed at young scholars, young minds, to, like you articulated, to solve for current industry challenges in the financial in, in, in inclusion space or financial industry, right? And uh, we, uh, we looked at trade because trade is a backbone of any economy. If outcomes can be fast-tracked, it can accelerate economic growth. And COVID has taught us that there are different ways through digitization that we can continue to do our business, uh, build processes and fast track them, right? And that was really uh, why we looked at that in India, as India is one of the largest, fastest growing economies. And we believe that this is the right time for us to look at trade and look at outcomes that would fast track a trade digitization in India. And that's why we had this challenge in India. And I'm so looking forward to uh, to this uh, uh, to to hear about the winners uh, in this uh, okay. context. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kieran. Well, let's pause there for a moment and take a brief look at how the teams handled this challenge. Being decentralized in nature, when contract terms are met, status is updated on the blockchain in real time basis, reducing the time and the headcount required to monitor the delivery of goods. The blockchain can reshape the way trade finance occur by increasing the efficiency, traceability, transparency and auditability of the transactions. We found that there were two reasons why customers are not willing to go digital. One, they're not willing to play, pay online to hide their source of black money as they will create the digital footprint. And second, as the workers at the MSME sectors are unskilled and who demand their payment in cash only. We have a huge opportunity where we can reduce the uses of paper. The RapidTrax app, which is based on distributed laser technology, will actually connect the exporter on the one side and importer on the other side using the API layer banks would be able to equip themselves to utilize security features. This would also aid them in gaining deep insights into a client's financial situation and transaction history. Smart contracts are essentially programs that run when certain criteria are satisfied and are maintained on a blockchain. A proposed solution will not only minimize the paper-based trade, but also boost digital trade financing with better security to optimize the process. And I'm delighted to announce that the judges chose Team Phoenix as the winners. Big congratulations to them. And their congratulations, we're pleased to say, we can pass on personally because Maya Shirka and Priyanka Wadwa from Team Phoenix join us now. Hello and welcome to Cyboss TV and congratulations. So Thank Maya, you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Brilliant presentation. Thank you. And we're going to start with yourself, Mayor. Um, congratulations again on the win. Very impressive presentation, impressive win. How does it feel to be a winner? It feels good to be the winner. I guess uh, all of my team members contributed for this. Excellent. Now, Priyanka, tell us about the project then. You minimise the use of paper-based trade and mitigate the risks of paperless trade. Briefly, give us your flavour and your elevator pitch, as it were. Okay, uh, so like the previous speaker spoke about financial inclusion and the use of blockchain. So what we thought about was how would we scale it, like as more people would be in, uh, included in the financial ecosystem. And blockchain is uh, what they presume to be the future. So we wanted to scale a blockchain usage. So what we proposed was to integrate blockchain with IPFS network. So uh, what a blockchain basically does is... Uh, it stores the hash value of all uh, the previous transactions. And as more transactions happen, the blockchain is bound to get bulky. 
So in our solution, the hash would be stored on the ITFS network, whereas the blockchain would only have the location of the hash file. So that uh, way the blockchain would be less bulky and it could be more scalable in the future. Fantastic. And coming back to yourself, Mayor, could you tell us a bit about what some of the biggest challenges of this project were? The challenges were to identify what are the limitations the blockchain has. And uh, when we do, did the research, we want to know that there is uh, one limitation, which is of the storage. Because as Priyanka said, uh, if the uh, file as the blockchain becomes bloated with the data, it will be heavy and it will be very costly to use. So that's the reason we integrated with the IPFS. And finally, Kiran, it's a great result. And what can we expect next time round? And can you tell us why the student challenge is so important to SWIFT? First of all, uh, let me congratulate Team Phoenix. I think uh, uh, I loved your idea, guys. Great work. Now, uh, from our perspective, you know, if you look at India, it's the largest youth population country. And I'm delighted that we are able to get these minds to solve for industry problem. And I will promise one thing from our perspective, being a community organization, that we will play a role uh, in, in solving for these problems uh, in, in every way that we can. More importantly, I felt that some of the uh, solutions that Team Phoenix brought was very practical. Uh, and and then they kind of uh, pushed for innovation and, and collaboration to solve for problems rather than creating something from scratch. I think that's that's the beauty. Uh, we will continue to drive this more aggressively in terms of student challenge in the country in the future because we are enthused with the level of participation. I, I would also like to use this opportunity to thank our judges, students, uh, and the Swift Institute for collaborating with us in, in delivering this great program in India for the first time. Brilliant. Well, Kiran Shetty and our two winners, thank you so much for joining Cybos TV. Thank you My for having us. Thank you.